Let's do this! Yeah! Birch Box versus Ipsy. Before we jump into this, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so jumping right in with Birch Box. Cute box this month. I love the colors and the little top. I've totally been saving my boxes lately to store all of my makeup. <laughs> The makeup is piling up, people. It's piling up. Essential Elements Wake Up Rosemary Body Lotion. Okay, this was my choice. I chose this one. It smells uh, very strongly of rosemary and maybe like eucalyptus or something. It's It's got that menthol-y kind of a thing going on. The bottle is super cute. So super cute. This little adorable sample size. I love this. It looks very apothecary-ish. It is really strong, like aromatherapy. Whoo, my sinuses are getting cleared up right now, let me tell you. It is a nice, creamy, lightweight feeling, non-greasy, super soft, really nice formula, but the scent not messing around. It's just really menthol-y and really rosemary-y. Get my sweetheart to give me a little massage with this. It would be nice. I, I would like that, you know, because it doesn't smell bad by any means at all. It smells really good. It's just very medicinally kind of a thing. Okay, anyway, so next thing on here is this Catherine Cosmetics Eyeliner, and this is the Everyday Eyeliner. So it's a, you know, a twist-up mechanical retractable pencil, and then on the other end it has this brush, which really looks like a lip brush. It would work better as a lip brush. It's very long bristles, and they're pretty soft and bendy. So for me, I did not like blending out my eyeliner with it. It was just too flimsy. You know, I didn't have enough control with it. It's not that it's a bad brush, it's that it's the wrong type of brush. I'm telling you, this is a great lip gloss brush. So, you know, just keep this around, use that end for your lip gloss, and then do your eyes with this end. The eyeliner itself is fan frickin tastic I love it. It's very creamy, it glides on very smoothly, it blends out beautifully. Or if you just want a nice precise line, it does that too. And it doesn't budge, it's waterproof. It's beautiful. This is from Key West Aloe. This is the Gentle Aloe Facial Cleanser. The full size of this is $16.50, and this has 30% aloe in it. It is a really nice gel cleanser. It's very thick. The viscosity is similar to like a dishwashing soap. You know, like where when I first put it on, I was like, oh my god, this is never going to rinse off. But it actually does rinse off fairly easily. It lathers up beautifully. It definitely cleans your face to a nice squeaky clean, but it doesn't leave it feeling dry at all. It works great with my Clarisonic or with my hands. It's great. It smells like a caipirinha maybe? A mojito? Something like that. It's got this really fresh, minty, limey deliciousness. It smells very sweet. Oh, it smells so good. Every time I use it, I want to have a delicious beverage. And for $16.50, I'm putting this on my list of things that I may actually purchase in the future, because this is, this is really nice. I really like this. Another skincare item. This is from Ren. This is the Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask. Ren has a ton of different masks and things out there. I actually just got another sample from um, a Sephora thing that I just bought. I'm going to do a Sephora haul for you guys. Just you wait. Anyway, this is one of those chemical exfoliating, brightening type of types of masks. It says on here, not for sensitive skin. I do have sensitive skin, but you know, everybody's skin is sensitive to different things. This did not bother my skin at all. In fact, I barely felt a tingle. It was actually really nice. I liked it quite a lot. It's kind of a gel that you put on your face. It doesn't dry or anything. It's not like a clay, it's, it's a gel. And then you leave it on for 10 minutes and rinse it off. It's recommended to rinse it off with like a washcloth or a face cloth of some sort, which I did. And I really liked it. It made my skin very soft and beautiful and glowy. And this little guy... Okay, first of all, this is the sample size that they give you at Sephora whenever you go in there of a free sample. Okay. But, that being said, this is from Sweet Science. This is the Invisible Daily Tint SPF 35. The full size of this is $45. 
It is a moussey textured tinted moisturizer. This is like for medium skin tones, I would say. So it was actually the perfect color for me. It's not too orange. It's not too pink. It's very neutral and lovely. When you first apply it, it feels like it's going to be very thick, but it's more like a mousse. So it shears out and it, and it actually comes off as very sheer. My favorite way to apply it is with a brush. You can apply it with your hands or a sponge. I tried both. I just felt that the brush gave it a better look. It does go on very sheer. However, I found it to be fairly buildable. You can get a medium coverage with this with two layers and it doesn't feel like you have two layers of makeup on. It still feels pretty lightweight. I actually really, really like this. It has a matte finish, which is great for a sunscreen. For me, on my skin, I didn't find it to be super matte. It almost looked more natural. Anyway, it just looked like my skin, but better. It just, it really smoothed everything out. It, it you know, covered my redness, but you could still see my skin underneath. I don't know. I really, really liked this. I thought that this was super duper great. Um, oh, and it doesn't have silicone in it, which is awesome because I think I might be sensitive to silicone. I don't know. Anyway, this is silicone free. So if you know that you are sensitive to silicone, try this out. I actually really enjoyed it. Again, it is a sheer coverage, so you're not going to get a lot of coverage from this, but I found it to be very nice. And that completes my birch box, Ipsy dual-sided bag here. Very fun. Um, actually, I kind of hate this bag. <laughs> okay, so I had a bunch of points that I have been building up over the last like year and a half, and then I noticed that some of them had expired, so I was like, hey, wait, no, I have to use my points. Bare Minerals 5-in-1 what is this actually called? BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. I had actually gotten a sample of this a while back and I really liked it, it was great. So I thought, oh, okay, well I'll get this. And the color that I chose is Delicate Moss. And even looking at the packaging, you think it's going to be sort of this olive green, khaki, taupey sort of a color. It's very pale, like way pale. Can you see this? On my skin, it just looks like, like white almost. I don't know, I'm just, totally unimpressed. I just really don't like the color. I love the product. I think that it's awesome. It's super great. It's just this color is not it's not working for me. So anyway, I got that with my extra points. Moving on to what was actually in my bag. Okay, first thing in here is this Bella Pierre Shimmer Powder. This is, their whole line is like mineral makeup, and it's just a loose mineral shadow. It's a very shimmery, blue, silver kind of a thing. I do have it on my eyes today. It's amazing. It's beautiful and pigmented as hell. It's very pretty color. I like it quite a lot. And they have a ton of colors. And then we got another Elizabeth Mott item. I love me some Elizabeth Mott. This is just the all over shadow brush and it's cute and pink and synthetic and it's very soft and very dense. Not stiff, but dense, which makes it really great for a lot of different things. And just the size of it and the fluffiness, it's, it's just a perfect little brush. You can use it for putting on a little bit of highlight. You can blend out your crease or pack the color on your lid or, you know, get a little brow highlight, contour your nose. It's just such a nice shape and size and density. Really, really happy with this brush. I love this. I love everything from Elizabeth Mott. I'm telling you, Elizabeth Mott's my girl crush. Another fantastic item in my Ipsy bag is this Essential Lip Enhancer from Jouer. This is just like, you know, a clear lip gloss. It's got, you know, the little, the little slanted applicator and you squeeze it out and it's super nice. It's not too thick, it's not sticky, it's very creamy feeling, but kind of thin and lightweight. This is one of those products that the first time I tried it on, I was like, whoa, what is this? I'm looking it up online, where can I buy this? How much is it? What are the ingredients? I love the way this feels on my lips. It's just very moisturizing, but very lightweight, and I love it. And it comes in several different colors. I really want to get the berry one. What is it called? It's like called Shiraz or something. I don't remember. Anyway, the full size of this one is $16. The colored ones are $18. It's a beautiful product. I love it. Then we got this moisturizer from La Fresh. This is the Eco Beauty Good Day Day Moisturizer. 
This is the day moisturizer. They also have a night moisturizer, but this doesn't have SPF in it, which makes it a deal breaker for me. So sad because it's a really great product. First of all, I love this sample size packaging. This little pouch is adorable. The full size comes in a jar and it is highly natural. <laughs> That's one of those things. It's like, you know, we did what we could. We tried to put as much natural stuff in there as we could. Biodegradable formula, cruelty free and California born, just like me. It feels like it's going to be like a thinner, lightweight moisturizer, but then when you put it on, it actually feels very creamy and very moisturizing. It smells very strongly of freshly cut cucumbers. It has all sorts of vitamins in it and anti-aging this is and that's and licorice root and ginkgo biloba leaf, grapeseed and hickory bark, all kinds of good stuff. None of the bad stuff. This is nice. I really like this. I really wish that it had SPF in it. That is a bummer. Speaking of natural products, we got yet another eyeshadow from Pacifica. This is a natural mineral coconut eyeshadow. So I had gotten another, I have gotten a couple different eyeshadows. What the hell, man? So the first one I got was this dual one. It had two different colors in it and it was awful. I hated it. And then I got another one that was in a little pot and it was gold and it was buttery and pigmented and just beautiful. This one is more like the first one, sadly. This is in the color Ethereal. They don't even sell these in these little pots, as far as I can tell. They sell them in palettes of like three or four, or you can get them in like kits of things. Anyway, the color is kind of a light, taupey, sort of shimmery, maybe like a satin finish. But it's just, it's got like zero pigment, and it feels nice and soft in the thing, but when I put it on my eyes, it just looked chunky and chalky and not pretty at all. So, I don't know about this. I think this might be going in June's makeup kit. This was not my favorite. So I'm sitting here looking at my piles, my Ipsy bag versus my birch box, and I'm trying to decide which one I thought won. <laughs> Hi. Hi! Jensen came to join me. He's going to help me decide if I choose birch box or Ipsy this month. What do you think? Ipsy! Ipsy? <laughs> Okay. Okay, well thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Bye.